It's the year of Nintendo, mixtapes, the O.J. Simpson trial, 1994. And Luke, played by Josh Peck, is just finishing high school in this coming-of-age story known as The Wackness. Tomorrow my life changes. Tomorrow I graduate. Luke's like this downtrodden, disillusioned, cynical cat, glass, half-empty type dude, and... He's, you know, entrenched in the whackness. You may recognize Josh Peck's name from the credits on Nickelodeon or the 2000 movie Snow Day, but now he's all grown up. I found this page that says, from boys to sexy men. Weird. And who's that in the corner? That's... But Josh Peck. That's Josh Peck. That's you. That would be me. Is right that next crazy to, to the, see something like that? Right next to the dreamy Drake Bell. And, and, and Shia LaBeouf on the and same page. Elijah and, Wood. Yeah. All gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous men. You're a virgin? Nah. He's also lost over 100 pounds since he was 15. I, I have, absolutely. Good for you. I hope I don't find it. <laughs> I hope it stays lost. In The Wackness, his character Luke visits Sir Ben Kingsley's character, Dr. Squires, for some therapy sessions, which he pays for in marijuana. Dealing is his summer job. Luke, back when I went to school, drug dealers had no problem getting girls. In fact, that's why I always wanted to be one. Was it intimidating to work with someone like that? Totally. Yeah. I mean, it was totally intimidating before I met him because, you know, it's Gandhi. What do you expect? It's <laughs> crazy. And I mean, I got turned on to him from a movie called Searching for Bobby Fischer. And, um, and, and he let me quote lines from Searching for Bobby Fischer. His lines, no less. Wow. These people are sick mentally. Kingsley's Dr. Squires is one of those therapists that needs more help than a lot of his patients do. That's why I don't want your medication, Luke. You may as well open up a Starbucks in your brain. You follow me? Don't jump for the quick fix. Embrace your pain. Make it a part of you. You don't want to be like them. I don't want you to be like them. So why you never taking any of that stuff? Jesus, Luke, I'm on all of it. I don't want you to be like me either. Olivia Thurlby, who made a big splash in Juno, is Stephanie, the girl Luke has a big crush on. She's also his therapist's stepdaughter. Your stepdad in this movie is Sir Ben Kingsley, who uh, has a pretty decent acting resume. Yeah, I'd say. What was it like meeting him? Um, he had come to set to visit, and I had no idea. And I, I sort of bounded onto the set, and I was in a really good mood the first day. It was going well. And um, and all of a sudden, I stopped dead in my tracks because he was standing there. <laughs> and then um, he saw me. He came up to me, and, and he said, hello, darling. So how come we, like, never hung out in school? So I was a loser? I mean, not like, not like a loser, loser, you know, but I was definitely the most popular, the unpopular trying to figure out how to talk to this girl who you kind of have a crush on. Do you remember right. that happening? It's easy to remember when it hasn't stopped happening. <laughs> I mean, you haven't gotten any smoother? Like chunky peanut butter, V. I am not smooth at all, son. I mean, I think that's something that will be pretty uh, ubiquitous throughout my entire life. Um, I don't know, man. I don't, I, I don't have any game. It's cool to dance, but what about a groove that soothes and moves romance? The movie is packed with musical references, like when a new album from some guy named Biggie drops. This right here is like, it's like paying homage. You know what I mean? Not just to the, not just to the 90s, but to the music that shaped it. So it's only appropriate that Method Man of 90s Wu-Tang Clan fame has a role in the film. My character's name is Percy. He's a um, Jamaican drug dealer, go figure. And you and got a little not, accent, too. Yeah, Can he I has a little, little accent. Taste of the, how okay, does he sound? Uh, me tell you, oh, yeah, look at you, take a look upon your parents and the, and the older generation and all of my, can you think me never, me never go do this shit I'm doing, then you get big and do the exact same thing I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, soldier. Be careful out there. This blood clad Julian, they got them bomber clad police looking at everybody and everything. Even white boy like you. I'm always careful, you know that. That is why I'm like you. The inspiration behind the whackness comes from writer-director Jonathan Levine's life in 1994. Like Luke, he had just graduated high school. I, 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 I never <laughs> sold pot. Okay. I did smoke it. Okay. But I didn't inhale. Okay. Well, neither did Bill Clinton, so you even. I was just trying to follow him. He needs to be present. <laughs> and what about the, the music that you were listening to in the 90s? Method Man was obviously one of the artists. Yeah, man. So what was it like working with him on this movie? Beyond all of them, Method Man was the one for whom I was most 
uh, intimidated. I just saw him coming up in the airport, and 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 he was like, "Yo, what up?" And I gave him the worst pound in the world. How did was, that? How did how did that go? It was like, oh, and then, oh. and then we had to do it again. <laughs> but he's nice to me. He's yeah. so cool, man. Yeah. Luke, <laughs> I can't believe you're here. <laughs> we came in to check out all the old weird people. <laughs> Mary Kate Olsen also has a small role in the film, but it's generating big buzz as the all grown up Full House star gets nasty with Sir Ben Kingsley. Whoa, dude. I am married, so I don't contemplate that type of thing. We should keep this on the DL, right? Yo, DL, quiet! I'm Blake Hayes, and that's your backstage pass to the Wackness.